Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Bilirial Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction IT Social and Professional Issues Series. Right now is our lecture number 8. Let's proceed to our topic for today. Our topics are covered by mobile based service industry and we have subtopics operators and providers of mobile, mobile phone industry, and other mobile based service industry. Mobile service providers in the Philippines prior to the liberalization of the telecommunication sector in 1993, telephone service in the Philippines was provided by a private monopoly. This article examines whether or not the Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company, PLDT, is virtual monopoly of the market was justifiable based on cost conditions. And we have here, figure in 40 shows the logo of Globe Company. Globe is the country's provider of the largest network. We have also TM or Touch Mobile is a cellular service brand of Globe. It is meant to cater to the middle income market including the lower income groups too. Figure 41 shows the logo of Touch Mobile. It's also a Globe company and Globe company is PLDT. And Figure 42 shows the logo of Touch Mobile. It's also a Globe company which is ABS-CBN Mobile is a mobile operator owned by the ABS-CBN Convergence Incorporated, a subsidiary of media conglomerate ABS-CBN Corporation. This uses global infrastructure through a network sharing agreement. In figure 43 shows the logo of a smart company. Smart is known to have introduced the world's first electronic prepaid reloading services. In figure 44 shows the logo Talk and Text also a smart company and smart is owned by PLDT also. Talk and Text or TNT is the low cost mobile service offered by smart. It also released a new line in landline units called Barangay Phone that can text and call anywhere in the Philippines which also function as a community phone centers. In figure 45 shows the logo of Sun Company but it was PLDT smart company. Sun Cellular is another mobile service that is owned by PLDT which is also the operator of smart. Sun Cellular is known for being the one which introduced unlimited text and call services in the Philippines. We are now finished with the operator and providers and we have only one providers here in the Philippines that is PLDT. Now in mobile phone industry we have five Filipino mobile phones. The first one is my phone which in figure 46 shows image of my phone cell phone. In 2007 marked the beginning of Filipino phone for Filipino user era solid group incorporated. President David Lim envisioned the creation of the first proudly Pinoy mobile phone brand in the midst of international tech giant's domination. In figure 47 shows an image of Torque cell phone. Torque Mobile on its ninth year of bringing quality mobile phones uh, at an affordable price. Tapstras Global Incorporated, Torque has already went a, a long way. President Christopher Uyko has always wanted a mobile phone. In figure 48 shows an image of Cherry Mobile cell phone. Cherry Mobile in 2009, Cosmic Technologies CEO Maynard Ngu decided to enter the world of entrepreneurship as he launched his own mobile phone brand. Even when sales of international brands Nokia and Blackberry are at their peak in the Philippines, Ngu turned his dream of introducing mobile phone that has everything for everyone into a reality. In figure 49 shows image of cloud phone mobile cell phone. Cloud phone prime CEO President Eric Yu creating quality products is great but creating quality products the Filipino can afford is even greater. You ventured into the mobile phone business through cloud phone in 2011. In figure 50 shows image of a star mobile cell phone. Star Mobile in 2012 by Star Telecom Alliance Resources Incorporated launched its first mobile device with a built-in Bluetooth headset. President Michael Chen told the Inquirer that Star Mobile is the fruit of a 15-year aspiration to create a local mobile phone even if 
international brands are world top sellers. And that's all for the mobile industry in the Philippines. And let's go out of the Philippines, other mobile based service industry. So, in figure 51 shows the image of top 5 companies in year 2020. Philippine smartphone market, top 5 company. Realme, number 1, 2 Vivo, 3 Oppo, 4 UA, 5 Samsung. This is the company and others. Now, in figure 52 shows image of mobile company which most likely by Filipinos. Okay, we have top one. More Filipinos wanted to have Samsung. The next is Oppo and Apple, UA. So those are the brands that uh, the Filipino wanted to have. In figure 53 shows the image of PLDT revenue, revenue for six months only in 2020. And this is in peso. And it considered to be shown in million. Telco core income we have here. Or the net income, 12 uh, trillion, 280 million. Okay, for 6 months. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number 8.